And the do girls do round the bend in this first lap of 12 and a half of the women's 5,000 metre state championships. Station one, we have McKenna Myler coming all the way from the United States of America. One to watch. Lane two, Amelia Eagling Every from Essendon. Lane three, Isabel Girardi of Deakin. Lane four, Alyssa Beersy, Williamstown. Five, Bridget Humphrey of Deakin. Six, Kiara Boyd Squires Long of Melbourne Uni. Seven, Jessica Jason of Deakin. Eight, Casey Wood from South Australia. Nine, Amy Robinson of Collingwood. 10, Stella Radford of Melbourne Uni. 11, Neve Tabit from Coburg. 12, Gemma Maney of Frankston. 13, Stephanie Condagonis of Keelor St Bernard's. 14, Kaya Fry of Frankston. 15, Eleanor Benson of Melbourne Uni. 16, Katie Gamble of Frankston. 17, Juliet McBurdy of Glenn Hudley. 18, Jessie Main at Diamond Valley. 19, Lauren Cockrell of South Melbourne. 20, Nicolette Lesberg of Mentone. 21, Tamara Quinn of Collingwood. Whitney Sharp is in station 22 to round out the field, the athlete from St. Stephen's. As the race already splits into two, Sean Whip. I think uh, in our first championship race of the evening, um, we're going to see this one have a, a few different players in it, Michael. We've, of course, got Whitney Sharp, fresh off a, a debut European season in the, the now, I guess, infamous uh, St. Stephen's kit. Looks like Gamble and Myla of the USA are doing the early work there. I guess Myla is the unknown, the athlete in the pink, fluoro pink jersey with the number one on her hip. We'll be keen to watch how she goes as well. Casey Wood of South Australia making this trip interstate. She'll be one to watch. She has number eight on her hip. Two thirty-six through for eight hundred, and uh, Michael, you're much better than math than I am. So I think we're we're just under sixteen forty pace at the moment, which which seems fair. We've got uh, Whitney Sharp's around fifteen fifty-four, the the lone competitor sub sixteen in the race, but a fair few times around that sort of sixteen sixteen to sixteen ten, sixteen thirty odd sort of time. So I think we'll see it hover around there to start with. Absolutely, and thanks for your compliment, Whit. But I'm not good at maths. I'm good at running maths. Pretty easy to work out as we see the race split into three packs. Few races within races here. It's so much easier to run these 12 and a half laps when you're around a few people of your ability, especially early on. And these athletes in this A race have a few races under their belts, doing it smart early on. Once again, a real mix in that front pack. Everything from steeplechase with Stella Radford, a, a half marathoner in Kai Fry. More established 5,000 metre runners there in, I guess, Wood and, and Gamble, but it looks like we've got a gap already here as we come up to, to 1,200 metres in about 3.54. Wood starting to stretch things out early here. Looks like she's uh, not come here for a slow time, which is excellent news for everyone else in the race. It remains Wood, 
Myla, Sharp and Gamble. And it looks like Myla just, just running up on the shoulder there a bit and, and Sharp doing the same. So you have these little fluctuations in pace throughout the race and, and often with the, the proximity these athletes have in the front pack, you can get pretty, pretty close. And I reckon the pace has picked up just a little bit of amongst those first four. We see them come through in well under 80 second laps and the stringing out of the athletes behind them is probably only due to the top four picking up the pace as they go through. As we look back past that start line mark at the moment, the runners towards the back of the field are still staying strong together. So it is another race within a race towards the back of the field and smart races might come through as the race progresses. We'll see 2,000 metres as we come over to the, the opposite side of the track here. Still a strong pack of four at the front with, uh, with Sharp just moving up there. Sharp, uh, a really well-known 1,500 metre runner. That's a sort of bread and butter, but uh, it'd be dangerous if she's around with, with anything like 800 or 600 to go. Coming through 2K there, looks like things have, have uh, picked up a little bit. Looks like we're hovering around that 16, 15 mark with Wood continuing to do the bulk of the work. Still just those small movements back and forth in that front pack. Everyone just figuring out where they are, what they're most comfortable at. Fry sitting really solid there about 10 metres off the back. We go back to Radford and another one of our Victorian cross-country representatives in Quinn from Collingwood. And Gemma Maney, another Victorian representative at National Cross Country. Juliet McBurney of Glen Huntley and Lauren Cockrell following Maney, keeping the pace steady. Neve Tabbitt just coming through the line there, as does Alyssa Beersy of Williamstown, and then the flood of athletes in this train. Things bunching again in the lead group there. Sharp moving up onto the shoulder in earnest on Wood there. And Gamble as well, just starting to come around the outside a little bit there. Gamble, a personal best of 16-16. So spot on PB pace here for Gamble. It'll be interesting to see if she tries to move any further up. Wood, a 16-10 runner. So we're all, we're all sort of hovering spot, spot on that PB pace. As I say it, Sharp moves up to the front, looking to push things on just a touch. The girls almost playing a bit of Indian file here with, as they progress through the field, looking comfortable as a tight-knit pack. Sharing the lead around, that's so nice of them. Yeah, look, I couldn't say the same in, in Covington in our B race. I think Milo might have had a slightly more expensive flight from the US. Uh, don't think Jetstar are, are flying from LA to, uh, to Melbourne just yet. As Sharp starts to open up a little bit of a gap. Myla paying close attention, moves up on the inside just a fraction as Gamble looks to move around the outside of the shoulder of Wood. Good spot, Nikki. As we approach 3,000 metres, this is really that part of the race where you want to feel, you want to feel good, you don't want to feel too good. There needs, needs to be a, a checking of effort here, Messini. Absolutely, if you've, um, I was about to say, spend all your cookies, eaten all your cookies, spend all your dollars, 3K into a 5K race, then uh, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. So these girls would be hoping to feel relatively good with five laps to go. Myla moving back into second there again. So probably, what was that, through in about 9.48, 9.49, so probably around that 16.20, five kilometre pace which would be around the season's best or PBs for a bunch of those athletes in that race or in that top field. 
Radford crosses through the line now with five laps to go. Sharp looking to pick things up just a little notch again as the gap starts to open between Myler and Gambler Frankston. So five laps to go as the train at the back of the field progresses through. These athletes are still trailing one another very closely, making it easier for them to get through these 12 and a half laps and save a bit of energy for the end. So five laps to go for all athletes now as the front pack nears just 1,600 metres to go. Just a miler <laughs> for the person coming in second, miler. Very good, Michael. Uh, <laughs> We'll look to see what the rest of the field does here. Are they, are they at their limit or, or will we have a, a few people try and take it from a bit further out? We know if, if it comes down to the last lap or two, I think Sharp will be, be too good. As Sharp and Myler continue to play a game on the back straight there, the gap starts to open, the gap comes back together again. Myler is just not letting, not letting Sharp go as that little bit of room starts to extend to Gamble. Wood just five to ten paces off the back there. So as the athletes, all athletes, four laps to go now, and the leaders are about to hit 1,200 metres to go. Sharp into Myler, Gamble, Gamble about a five, 10 metre gap, and Wood about 20 odd metres behind. Is a race of four towards the front of the field with Sharp, Myler closely on her heels. Three laps to go for the leaders. Possibly an early season test of form here for Sharp. Probably, probably just going to try and kick this one away. But, but for Myler, if she hangs in here, she's still under PB pace, or PR pace, should I say. And if she can... Oh, just as I say that, Sharp puts in another move there. Sharp moving away sharply now. Good playing words, Whip. Subtle, I like it. And coming through with one kilometre to go, Whitney Sharp hitting... That mark in 13 minutes, so 16.15 pace for the 5K if she keeps up that consistency. Sharp into Myla Gamble. Not letting the girls get away too easily, still keeping the same similar gap to what it was about a lap ago. Wood in fourth position still, and Kaya Fry one kilometre to go. Sharp stamping her authority on this one. I think uh, she's going to get the best of the pack here with two to go. Myla working hard, still on PB pace there as Gamble starts to bring things back in just a touch. Positions remaining unchanged there with Wood coming through the line and now Fry of Frankston. Quinn follows Fry. And a little bit further back down the straight we have Stella Radford of Melbourne University. As all athletes on the track merge together in one, we will try and keep an eye on the leaders as they do come into 600 metres to go. Now coming out into lane two, about 500 metres left. Whitney Sharp, bit of a gap to Myler and Gamble. Gamble closing here, looking to move around. So one lap to go for Sharp, two laps to go for the bulk of the athletes towards the back of the field, passing that finish line now. Sharp likely to test how, uh, how quick she can close here, Michael. Keep an eye on the clock, everyone. Gamble comes through the line, as does Myler. Myler on for a big personal best here if she can keep things going. 
as is Gamble as well, come in with a personal best of around 16, 17 and is on track to run close to that if she holds strong for this last 400 metres. As Wood with the number eight hip coming from South Australia crosses the finish line. One lap to go for Wood. Kaya Fry looking pretty strong with 400 metres left. Quinn will collect the bell here with a, a raucous support crew there. Good to see the family out supporting. A few weeks ago. So we do see Whitney Sharp coming towards the finish line. Your Victorian champion in a time just over 16 minutes. Put your hands together for Whitney Sharp. Gold medalist in the win. for the win. Katie Gamble will come across to collect the silver Gamble medal will be in close the Victorian here. Championship. Just under her personal best, I reckon. 16-14. Unofficial. Myla, the trip's been worth it. 16-21, we'll call it. A sizable personal best. So Myla takes third position. We're still waiting for our third Victorian in the championships as Wood crosses the finish line in fourth position in this race, the athlete from South Australia. And third out of the Victorians, Kaya Fry, the athlete from Frankston, crossing the finish line in around 16.45. To take bronze in the Victorian Championship. In fourth place, we'll have Tamara Quinn of Collingwood. Radford comes through in a time just on 17.15 there. We ask athletes to merge into lanes three and out for the finish as we see Lauren Cockrell charge towards the finish line. The athlete from South Melbourne, Eleanor Benson of Melbourne University. Humphrey there from Geelong. As we have Maney, Maine, Boys Squires Long, Tabbott, Jason and McBurney coming in in a big pack. And it was Nicolette Lesberg before the bunch of them from Mentone. Amelia Eagling, Every from Essendon, Steph Condagonis from Keelor St Bernard's. You go girls, bring it home! Amy Robinson of Collingwood charging towards the finish line now. 